What are you most passionate about and why? I am most passionate about learning something new because mm -hmm. I've only seen people do their jobs and I've never actually gotten into production. Mm -hmm. But from what I've seen, I love it and it's very, um, it's very fast, pa fast paced and it's very um, interactive between all the different stages of production. So that's why I want to get into it myself. Okay, well what, uh, what experiences or events influenced you to feel so strongly about it? Um, originally, I went with my cousin who worked at Fox mm -hmm. to see what she does because it was a high school project, so I just needed to follow her around and see what she did for a day. Mm -hmm. And she took me around to the different departments like editing, um, she worked in production, and then we went to the voiceover studio and we just like talked to all of her friends in all the different departments. and. Obviously, as a high schooler, you're like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. But um, as I grew up and finally started to like figure out what I actually wanted to do, like that's what I went back to because that's what I was most drawn to. Mm, nice. Well, did you have to like overcome any obstacles to pursue your passion? Yes, because um, originally I was kind of pressured to get a real job. So my parents told me just to go to a four-year, get a degree, and anything really so uh, I originally decided on psychology went through two years of school and then decided that I absolutely hated it so um, I kind of felt like I failed myself because I went through all that school with something that I wasn't even passionate about to come back and restart to figure out what I wanted again so that was hard but after I figured what I wanted then it all became a lot easier from there Nice. Hello. Um, Hello. What's something you're good at? I'm very good at time management. Um, I'm very on top of schedules, deadlines, anything like that. If you give me a time and you give me a project, I will have it done by that time, if not before. Hmm. How did you become interested in this position? Uh, like I said, um, my cousin was in it, and once I saw what it was, what you had to do, I absolutely loved it so then I began talking to other people who were in production um, how I found my previous internship was uh, my mom's co-worker her husband was an executive producer um, so I started talking to him seeing what he was doing and uh, I ended up getting my first in or my first uh, internship mm -hmm. with him so what does it take to excel or what do you think it's going to take to excel at this position? Obviously because I don't have much experience I'm going to need to work harder and learn fast so that's something that I'm very good at if I don't know something I will figure it out and get it done and um, if there is something that I can do I will do it to the best of my ability. So uh, what are you most proud of? I think I'm most proud of just being able to accept the fact that I was pursuing something that I did not want or like and then being able to recover from that and excel at what I am actually passionate about. So yeah, I mean, I guess like coming from being completely confused and lost and just like frustrated that I didn't know what I wanted to really like think about what I wanted and accept what I want and then go out and get it. So I got my first internship and now I'm looking to continue on from there. Mm -hmm. So what did you do to achieve it? <laughs> uh, like I said, just work hard and mm -hmm. be dedicated to my employer and my coworkers, and just do everything that I could to make their jobs easier so that we mm -hmm. could work better as a unit. Okay. And were you acknowledged for it? I mean, nothing big, but just like a thank you or just verbal communication and like just strengthening mm -hmm. of relationships because you get to know people so well. Mm -hmm. That was a benefit in itself. So, let's talk a little bit about your like personal life and growing up. What was the most difficult part of growing up or getting through school? Like I said, having to go through two years, find out that I did not like it at all, come back, and then rediscover my passions and what really like drove the fire for me to mm -hmm. get going on something. Anything personal before um, college, though? Before that, I mean, I guess just the pressures of listening to what other people think I should do instead mm -hmm. of just sticking to what I want and what I'm best at. Mm -hmm. So once I figured that out, it all became a lot easier. Um, how did you handle those challenges in life? 
I think pretty well because I'm not sitting at home crying in my bed. I'm out here trying to get things done and trying to continue on my progress through mm -hmm. obviously starting at the bottom, but eventually I want to work my way up. So what are some other obstacles you've overcome? Um, it's kind of like the same. Mm -hmm. uh, besides all the other stuff, maybe just um, networking, I guess, finding the people who are in the positions that I eventually want to have and impressing them and getting them to um, be my references if I need them. Um, get me to other people who know of jobs. That's basically where I found my first anyway, was just through referrals. So yeah, yeah just expanding my network. So what, uh, what created the obstacles and how did you overcome them? Um, I guess mostly just not knowing where to start was the original obstacle. So once I figured out what I wanted and where I needed to go from there, um, I just started asking people, hey, do you know if someone who's in this business? And then I started asking my cousin, how did you originally get to your job? And then I remember my mom just mentioned one day that her coworker is, or her husband is a TV producer. <laughs> so I asked her, I was like, hey, can I talk to him and see what he's doing? And that eventually got me my first internship. So yeah, now through mm -hmm. my cousin, I'm coming back to where I guess I originally started in high school because I really want to come and intern here at Fox. Nice. Very nice. Well, it's asking production questions. Yeah, so I think we're that we're good. We're yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any questions for them about the job? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. So, because it's an HR and uh, talent acquisition job, um, what exactly are you guys wanting? like us interns to start out doing? Like what are we gonna first start handling? Yeah, that's what it's for. Do you guys? We <laughs> <I'm> need <sorry>. coffee. <laughs> yeah, <you can> go. <laughs> coffee is always good. <laughs> coffee by is the great. way, by the way, I don't have any right now, so I would like some. Okay. Don't for me. <laughs> uh, well I have a super great memory, so if you just tell me I will go get it. Some Chick fil A. Okay. He's a big Chick fil A fan. Um yeah. no, we just want you to come in and learn and like be humble and understand that you're going to make mistakes you're not going to be perfect but that's a part of the job mm -hmm. and you know we want to learn as much from you guys as you know you want to learn as much from us <laughs>